I want to do an example uh, using center of mass to solve a problem. So in this problem, here we have a uh, lake, and we have a canoeist in the lake, and our poor canoeist has lost his paddle. So the canoe here I've shown is uh, uh, four meters long. That, that's our, our canoe. Um, he, the canoeist notices that the paddle is a half a meter away from the edge of his canoe, while he is a half meter away from the far edge of the canoe. And so the the problem is. Uh, how can the canoe? How can the person then reach the canoe? To reach the the paddle. So the person is going to uh, walk to the edge of the canoe to try to reach the paddle. And the question is, will the canoeist get there? Okay. So what can we say about this problem? Well. We start with the assumption that the system is initially at rest. And assuming that the lake and the river is calm, um, there are no net forces on the person canoe system. So the person canoe system is at rest. There's no net forces, which means the system will continue to be at rest, which means that the center of mass does not move. So while the person walks to the edge of the canoe, the center of mass of the system must stay constant. So, okay, so let's, let's figure out where that the center of mass is. To do that, we need a coordinate system. I, I'm going to put the origin of the coordinate system at the OR. So I can evaluate everything relative to that. I'm going to call um, positive x direction off to the right. So we have the mass, there are two, two systems, the mass of the canoe and the person. So I'm going to assume the canoe is uh, symmetric, and so the center of mass of the canoe is at the center of the canoe. And so that's at uh, 2 meters from one edge, which means it's at uh, 2.5 meters. The center of the canoe is at 2.5 meters from the oar itself. Okay, so if the person is one half from one edge of the canoe, uh, a half meter, that means the canoeist is, is one and a half meters from the center. And so that means that the canoeist then is uh, four meters from the canoe itself. So one and a half from the center, so another one and a half from the uh, the center of the canoe, I said, was at 2.5 in this coordinate system. The canoeist there is at 4. Okay, so in, in this coordinate system where the oar is at the origin, the center of the canoe is at 2.5 meters, the person is at, at 4 meters, and so I can now calculate, it, this is all one dimension, I can calculate the center of mass, which is all in the x dimension. So I just want the x coordinate of the center of mass. So that is the uh, 1 over the total mass times the mass of the canoe, which is 30, times the position of the canoe, or the position of the center of mass of the canoe, which is 2.5, plus, I'm going to run out of space here, the mass of the person times the position of the person in the coordinate system, which is 4, and that's all over the total mass, which, which is uh, uh, 80. So if I calculate this out here, I have 30 times 2.5, so that's uh, 75 plus uh, 50 times 4, so that's 200 all over 80. I put that in my calculator. I get 3.44 meters. So that's the center of mass, and that is uh, constant. So eventually, redraw my my lake here, redraw my oar. I'm going to say the, the paddle or the oar hasn't moved. And now the person, so we'll say, here's a canoe, 
the person has made it to the edge of the canoe and the question is how far are they from the oar can they reach the oar okay so let's let's start again at our we're we're going to say the oar is our um at the the origin and the person is some distance x away and um we want to find it. We want to find how close the person is. And so that means that the boat, the center of mass of the boat, then, is at a distance 2 plus x away from the oar. So let's go ahead and, and calculate that. So the x of the center of mass is equal to 1 over 80. The total mass hasn't changed. But now we have the mass of the a boat, which is 30 times 2 plus x plus 50 times x. So that's equal to, this is uh, 60 plus 30x plus 50x all over 80. Now I'm going to Let's get some room here. Well, let's do this right now. We know what the x of the center of mass is. It's 3.44 meters. And because it was at rest and there were no net forces on the person uh, canoe system, that has not changed. So now we have 60 plus 80x is equal to uh, 3.44 times 80 and then we subtract 60 from each side and so x then divide 80 by each side 3.44 minus uh, 6 eighths which is 3.44 minus 3 fourths and so we're beginning to see the problem. The final x position, say 3.44 minus 0.75, is equal to 2.69 meters. So in walking to the oar, for the most part, the canoe just moved underneath the person and the person went from being 4 meters away to 2.7 meters away and so uh, did not even get half the distance to the oar. So uh, the, real, the real picture should look something like here and here's the oar and the person boat moved far away and the person now does not have a chance to reach the oar.